All right, so I'm making this video. Um, Bleach just came out on Steam, so we're all pretty excited about that. And one of the biggest things about it hitting Steam is it having controller support. So if you look, I got my Xbox controller here, we're moving it around, it looks like it's working. But the thing is, when you actually go and click through, if we actually go and we try to do a mission here. Let me go ahead and we start quests. We can see that when this starts, and we actually try to use our controller, let's see what happens. So as you can see, I can move around, okay, but I'm hitting all my controller buttons and nothing's happening. So this is great that I can move Toke around, but not being able to attack or do anything with flash step. Well, I guess I can flash step. Not sure how I'm doing that. Um, I'm not sure what button I press for flash step, but somehow I flash step. Either way, something's wrong with it, we gotta fix it, right? So, clearly, there's an issue. But I'm pretty sure there's a fix, and that's what this video is really about, is how do we get our Xbox controller to work for this? And that's what we're gonna do. So let us actually get this fixed. So the first thing you wanna do is close out the game, because you need to, you're gonna need to close the game out. That's what we're gonna go, we wanna open up Steam. So let me switch the display here. So we want to open up Steam, and we're going to go to Steam, and we're going to go to View, and then we're going to click Big Picture Mode. And now, um, you may or may not have this set up, so I'm going to show this first, just so you can kind of see. So we're going to click on our library, we're going to click on Bleach, and we're going to go to Manage Game. And then here we're going to be able to click controller configuration, but you might get this error. So this is the error that I have because I haven't done this yet. So it's going to say configuration support for the Xbox One controller disabled. Xbox One controller configuration support must be enabled in Steam's menu controller settings. So what that is, is back here. So when we go back and we click here, and we go to controller settings, and then here we have Xbox configuration support and we want to make sure we click and now that we've clicked that we can go ahead and hit back hit back again and now when we go to library we click and then we go down here to manage games and when we click on controller configuration bam now we actually have and we can actually map out um, what we want to do in the game so you need to know, we need to know all these controls and with all these controls, what we're going to do is plug them into our Xbox control. So again, you need to make sure we have this keyboard set up right here. And then we need what all these, what all these buttons map out to. Now we can sit here and we can set up what we actually need to do properly. All right, so we already started with by putting these two in. So these are in, they're good to go, no worries. So now what we need next is we need to put in the special move. So we just want to figure out where do we want um, for our alt to go. So this is really up to you at this point. Um, I think for me, um, if I'm playing, I probably want my alt on for one of the triggers, I think. So either both triggers or one trigger. You know, it's, this is what we, this is what I'm probably gonna go with. Um, so left trigger, so we'll click on left trigger there and the bind we want for left trigger is our special move, which is three on, um, on the keyboard. So we'll go ahead and pull that. So 
pull. So full pull action is the button three on your keyboard. And again, oh, I'm sorry, not three. I already screw. I'm already screwing this up. I'm looking at it's three. Three is a special move, but what it is is um, R. It looks like yes, R. My fault. And then we click back. So whatever you want your special move to be, that's that's the button you bind for R. So we already have um, our joystick moving is fine, but our click action. What I wanted for my click action, I want it to be a flash step. So if we go click action and flash step is six, which is the letter F. So we'll go ahead and click that for F. So now I'm normal moving with joystick and then I'll flash step with F. But I probably should go in order to make it easier. So, um, we already did our change characters, we did our special move, and now auto mode. So I guess this is just um, switching in between turning auto on and off, right? So for them right now, switching between auto on and off looks like it's the button or the letter U. So for me, I think switching auto on and off could probably be something, um, probably right stick click. I'm okay with that. So we'll go ahead and click right stick, right stick click, and that'll be U for turning off auto, on and off. Our next button is our strong attacks. Um, strong attack one, two, three. And it looks like for those, our strong attacks are A, S, and D. So for me, I think for my strong attacks are probably gonna be Probably for me, AX or mm, probably going to be X, Y, and B actually, and then A is going to just be my normal attack. So for our first strong attack, which is the X button, we're going to make the letter A. And then for the Y button, we're going to make S. And for B, we're going to make D. And then A, I believe, is our normal attack. So normal attack is space bar. So again, I'm kind of going out of order here again. Sorry about that, but I just want to put all those together. So we have our strong attacks. And then our space bar is A on our normal attack. And then the next thing to do is uh, six is the flash step. We've already done that. And then um, change to double team character. So this is if you have um, one of those double team units and you want to switch to the double team character. And the double team character switch looks like corresponds with the letter V. So I think for the double team character switch, I'm probably going to do something like the D-pad. So D-pad up and um, what was that? Change double team character, letter V. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit back. And then we've already, we already did our normal attack and we've already, move character is already on there. So joystick equals move. So now we can click done and we've, we have everything binded from the menu on here. And so let's go back to your game and let's go and hit play and let's see if now everything is working the way it's supposed to be. I guess I don't have like a start configuration yet so I probably need to have a button that's just um, something to hit start on here because well I think maybe I did have it I just didn't I wasn't clicked over so my fault all right so so far so good a is working as it should clicking through we're going through events limited time quests 
Uh, approach outdoors. Conquistadors. I revert that as outdoors. If you ever come to my stream, you'll know that I can't read <laughs> and have horrible eyesight. So, okay, so start quest. Because again, we're just trying to test this controller out and see if we've got it all mapped out and everything like we should. Go ahead and skip. So we're moving around good. Flash stepping, clicking like I should. Alternating characters. A feels good. Stone attack one. I think I'm going to the stream, I'm sorry. Ah, what's going on? Okay, strong attack 3, no fault. And then, um... Awesome. Everything's working, the only thing is... It's controlling my whole mouse on big picture mode, so whenever it was pushing my mouse up here, it was, uh... It wasn't corresponding to what it should be. And so the only thing it looks like we might need to figure out something is, um, uh, how to maybe hit a pause menu. We don't, looks like we don't have a pause. Oh, I think I'm understanding big picture mode a little more. So it looks like whenever I hit, it looks like whenever I hit start in big picture mode, I can move around freely like I should. And then whenever I hit uh, start again, it'll bring my mouse and I can actually move to something like this and hit pause. So, okay, so it's more just kind of getting used to how the button layout is working. So this is a free roam. It looks like whenever you hit the start button and then kind of locked in once you uh, hit it again and you're locked into the game. But again, that could be something different with big picture mode and not big picture mode and maybe the way my buttons are mapped as well. So i uh, take that with a grain of salt. But either way, uh, we got our controller set up and working. And it's all done. So again, if you want your Xbox control on Bleach on Steam, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, I stream pretty much daily on Twitch. Come hang out sometime. And uh, thanks. Have a good one. Peace.